Welcome to my keyboard collection. Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Diana and I post tech and lifestyle content here on YouTube. In today's video, guess what? I'm going to share my keyboard collection. I know this may be a little too much, but I'm a keyboard lover, okay? Don't judge me. My husband even told me that we can now open a call center or a computer shop because I own a lot of keyboards. Actually, I have more, but they are now in their rightful owners. So currently, I now have 15 keyboards. I know it's also a lot of keyboards because I'm the only one who's using it. So this video, I'm going to share all of my keyboard collection. So without further ado, let's get started. So if I'm going to pick, I'm going with my current keyboard. It's the Low Free Dot Foundation. Look at this, it's so beautiful, right? What I love about it is that it has three modes of connection. So I can use it via wired, I can use it wireless, and I can also use it via Bluetooth. I can switch if I'm editing in my iPad, I can still use this keyboard. And if I'm working in my MacBook, I can also use this keyboard. So this is the design I'm going to show you. Look at that, it's so beautiful, right? And this is the back design. The typing ASMR sound starts now. Oh my gosh, right? I love typing with this keyboard. So yeah, that's keyboard number one. Keyboard number two will be this. This is the Feker or Feker Alias Ergonomic Gasket Keyboard. And it's corgi theme! This is actually my first Alice keyboard. It's also really heavy, so I believe it's in very high quality. And look at that! It also comes with this cute corgi poster. <gasps> Cute! And not only it contains keyboard, but it also has a wrist rest. There you go! It's like a very cute combo, guys. And this is the keyboard. And not only that, it also comes with this really cute corgi stickers. This is the design of my second keyboard. And look at, at the back. It has this corgi design at the back, so cute. And of course, when you put the wrist dress like that, it matches, okay? It looks good in your desk setup, okay? Typing ASMR. What I love about this Alice keyboard, it's ergonomic and the design is so cute. It's corgi theme. It also has this two space bars, which I really love. And there's also a volume knob here at the top right where I can control my volumes, of course. This is my keyboard number two. Keyboard number three is this big guy right here. I actually got this maybe in the year 2022, I think. So this is the Azio RCK Retro Classic Compact Keyboard. Let's open this bad boy. You can really see that it's in very high quality because the packaging is so big. Then it also has this dust bag, which I appreciate. So it can protect the keyboard. Ooh, it also has this brush. And there's some cords in there, and I have the wrist dress here. This is the wrist dress. Ooh, I actually haven't used this for quite some time now, but yeah. This is keyboard number three. Look at this classic keyboard. Wow. That quality, guys. <gasps> oh my gosh. I love that the accent is in rose gold color. And of course, the typing ASMR sounds is so cute. I feel like I'm in a typewriter right now. 
What I love about this keyboard is it looks like a typewriter and it sounds like a typewriter. So the typing sounds is great. I love that it also has a three mode connection. There's Bluetooth, USB, and of course the wireless. Overall, I love this keyboard. Keyboard number four. This is the Kiboom Phantom 81. I actually own maybe around four keyboards already from Kiboom. They sent me their really beautiful keyboards. I really love Kiboom's keyboard because it's so unique. It's transparent. And I just love the design of it. And it's in the color purple. Look how heavy it is. <laughs> Look at that transparent. There you go. You can see the transparent design at the back. It's RGB also. Oh, there you go. Look. Ah, so cute, right? Typing ASMR starts now. So what I love about this keyboard, it has a really unique design. It's transparent. It's very high quality. It has three mode connection too. It also has this knob, which I can also connect my volume in here, which is very accessible. I'll just share all the details and specs of this keyboard right here or right here so you can refer to it. And I actually really love it. Keyboard number five. This is the Rec. Kazer, or I'm not sure if it's the correct way to pronounce it. Rekazer, Rekaz, or I don't know. It has this really nice design. It's very light. I can bring this out with me when I want to work outside and if I want a keyboard with me or if I'm gonna work in a different place that I need a keyboard, I would bring this because it's not heavy it's you can just put it in your backpack which is also convenient it's not that big too it's just the right size at the back it just has a soft pink color which i really love too the typing sound is amazing I love the sound. It has that thucky and creamy feel when you type in this keyboard, which I appreciate. Okay, so now we are at keyboard number six. And I love this one. This one is from Akko. It's their Cinema Roll theme keyboard. I love this. It's so cute. Let's open it. So the design of this is just white and it has that blue accent that match with the Cinema Roll. I love this keyboard. If you're a minimalist, you would love this keyboard. Just nice. It's white. I'll share a typing sound for this. It also has volume knob. Then all the needed connection is here. So it screams minimalist. Now we're on to keyboard number seven. And it's from the Roo. And it's the Z82 keyboard. I believe I already created an unboxing separate for this keyboard. If you want to see the unboxing video of this keyboard, I will link it in the description box below. What I love about this is that it's also very girly. And if you love pink and purple colors, this keyboard is for you. I love that when you open this, it has this scent, which is a really good scent. And it smells good, you know? It also has stickers. There's also an accessory box that comes with the chargers and everything. Now let's type on it. I love that this keyboard is compact so it's very nice and very light. So it's also the same with my previous with the previous keyboard which is very easy and convenient to bring outdoors. So if you prefer that and also the typing experience is not bad. It also has a volume knob so so I love that. It really has some really cute design kittens. So love that. Now let's move on to keyboard number 8. This is the low free transparent keyboard I am not sure but I think they are the first one to create a transparent design keyboard S tell me if I'm wrong but that's what I noticed in social media that's open it 
This is actually my first transparent keyboard and I love it. The design is so great. I love it. I love the design and also the typing sound is also great. Let me show you. It's very thocky. It doesn't have RGB but it also has backlight. There you go. As you can see, there's this white light, which is really cute. I also uh, actually love using this too because I love the typing sound and it's really nice to type with. And it's not that heavy also. Oh no, it, there's only two modes here. It's not three. It has Type-C and Bluetooth mode. So it doesn't have the wireless one. Just have to keep that in mind if you want to buy this keyboard. Next is we have keyboard number nine. This is the Apple Maker First Blood B21 mechanical keyboard. Let's open this bad boy. This is what it looks like. As you can hear, it's... it's <laughs> so these kind of switches, they're actually blue switches. It's very clicky. I think this is in the cherry blue switch. I'm not really sure. I'll just put the details here. Let's do some ASMR typing test. So if you're into clicky keyboards, this is one of my recommendations for you. It has a minimalist design too. It has this rose gold color for the knobs on top. And it has this grayish color vibes and then green color here at the bottom. It can be for a boy or for a girl. So, And what I love about it, it's also not so heavy. So you can also bring this outdoors if you want. And yeah, there, I know there are other people who doesn't love clicky keyboards because it's noisy, obviously. But there are some also loves clicky keyboards. At first, I also love clicky. But as the time goes by, I prefer more on the creamy and plucky keyboards. I prefer that now. But yeah. It's also nice to have a cherry blue switch keyboard as part of my collection. This is the Ola F75 looks like. Look how gorgeous she is, right? It's also very minimalist and the design is just nice, right? It's very compact too. It's not that heavy and the color is just really amazing. I'm a fan of this color. It has this sky blue and navy blue colors and the white. It's very nice if you have a white desk setup. This would look good in your desk. So here's the typing ASMR. There you go. As I've shared earlier, I love talky and creamy keyboards now. So this is one of my favorites too. And it also comes with a knob right here. I believe it also has three connections. There is type C in here, Bluetooth and 2.4G or wireless. So there are three modes of connection for this keyboard. Number 11 keyboard. It's so heavy. <laughs> oh my god. Ah! Okay. It's from Kiboom. So this is my second keyboard from Kiboom as I've showed for today's video. Let's open it up. It's not convenient to bring this outdoors with you because it's so heavy. Might as well just use this indoors in your home office. So this is what it looks like. Oh, so the difference of this keyboard from earlier, this has 64 keys. That's why it's called Phantom 64. Earlier, I've showed you Phantom 81 because it has 81 keys. This is actually their latest release because it now has a screen at the right side. I'll show you. As you can see, I love this keyboard because it's pink, obviously. And I actually at the back, I've, I've added some really cool keyboard skins. I added some flowers and butterfly. I actually made a reel about that so you can check it out in my Instagram profile. I shared an unboxing of this keyboard and I added some keyboard skins. So again, this is actually their latest release and it now has a LCD screen at the side. So on the screen, you can 
actually check the date, the temperature, and usage of your keyboard, which is really cool. I'm a fan of keyboards that has LCD screens because you can get to access that on your keyboard. But for me, I don't think it's really necessary since you are working, let's say, on your iPad or on your laptop. You can easily access, of course, the date and time there. Or if you have a watch, so you can easily access the time. So if you're a fan of LCD screen, that's okay too. There are also LCD screens that you can actually customize. You can actually add a GIF there. But in this keyboard, it's actually not customizable. That's what I've noticed. There's no like a driver where you can add a GIF here. So it, you can only see the date and the time. And again, for Kiboom keyboards, they usually release transparent keyboards, which I love. I love transparent keyboards. And especially, it's in the color pink. It's really pretty. Now let's do the typing ASMR sound. Another thing is that when you type on this keyboard, it's very soft. And the sound is also very talky. So I'm a fan of that. On to the next keyboard. This is keyboard number 12. This is the XVX L75 keyboard. I'll show you what's inside. So this is actually a low profile keyboard. Very minimalist and it's very light. So this is what it looks like. So this design is also great for men. So if you are a guy, this keyboard is also great. It comes with other keycaps as well and some, of course, complete accessories. This is actually a low-profile keyboard. So if you are a fan of that, this is a great keyboard to buy. It's also very affordable and yeah, it's very light and compact. Now let's do a typing ASMR. I'm also a fan of the color. The blue color is really beautiful. Look at that. So yeah, this one, it doesn't come with a knob. It's just like that. It has 75 keys. It also has three modes. So Bluetooth, wireless, and the wired Type-C connection. Keyboard number 13 is from Mel Geek. This is actually my first keyboard from them. I actually love this keyboard. Why? Because I'll show you what it looks like. This is called the Mojo 68 keyboard from Mel Geek. Why this is my favorite? Because look at the keycaps, guys. The design is so great. It's so beautiful. Look at, look at these keycaps right here. Look at that, right? Oh my gosh, they really designed their keycaps so good. And what I love about this is that when I type, it's so creamy. And it's very, very soft. Just a, just a great deal for me when it comes to keyboards and it's not that heavy which I also appreciate. I'll let you hear the typing ASMR. So this is what the Mojo 68 sounds like. It's so creamy. It's also a mix of clicky too which is great too. And also the case here is also transparent at the side. I'm really a fan of its keycaps. It's so thick and yeah, it's very comfortable when you type. I'm really glad to have this in my keyboard collection. Now we're down to the last two. <gasps> it's so heavy. This one is actually a DIY keyboard. There's a separate keyboard kit, switches, and also the keycaps. So I have, I built it together and I'll show you the result. It's actually very heavy though because it has great quality. The kit, the keyboard kit is in great quality. It's so heavy right now. So I have the Marvo Touch Wisdom X Monka Alice 67 Pro keyboard kit. When it was delivered to me, it doesn't come with these keycaps. I just add them. But I'll show you the keyboard kit. So the keyboard kit is in the color white. It's very minimalist. So 
And this is my second Alice keyboard. So earlier I showed you the Corgi theme. This one is my second one and it's in the color white. It also has a volume knob right here which I appreciate for them to add. And these keycaps is actually from Kibu. They sent me their keycap set. I think it's the Per, per Kitten. I'm not sure. I think it's called Per Keycaps. And I just built it here in this keyboard kit. So the switches that I use is actually also from Kiboom. I think it's in... I'm not sure if it's in Sapphire or the Emerald switches. I actually shared a video of this like when I build this keyboard so you can also check that in my Instagram. I actually love how it all turned out and it's matching because again the keyboard kit is white so it can match anything actually it would still look great because of the color white. Let's do a typing ASMR. It's so nice, right? The sound is so satisfying. The switch is really nice. And the keycaps is also really cute. This is in Alice kit. So it's ergonomic. So if you prefer this, this type of keyboard, this is a great buy. But take note, this keyboard kit is a bit heavy. If you don't move your keyboard that much, then it's a great buy for you. I'm really happy the build that I created from this set. I love that I have this in my keyboard collection. Now for the last, it's B Yunzi A C T T O or Acto. This is actually an iPad keyboard, which is also one of my favorites because I can use this keyboard when I create content for my iPad or if I just do my work in my iPad alone. I love this keyboard. Let me show you. It also comes with a lot of colors, but I chose the color white. I love a minimalist design, so I chose this. Look at this one. It looks like a retro typewriter keyboard. I love that it has the typewriter design like here, this roll right here at the side. I really love it. And this one on top is where you can put your iPad. It also serves as an iPad stand. So this is really perfect for people who uses their iPads for work. If you're asking if an iPad can be a substitute for a laptop, my answer is yes because I've been using that for work alone and I didn't really have that much problems. But yeah, I purchased a MacBook. If you want to know why I purchased a MacBook, just watch my video about it in my YouTube channel. So back to this keyboard, it's Bluetooth. I can connect this Bluetooth. It's compatible in with my iPad I because I can just connect this via Bluetooth. This knob, actually this knob here is a volume button. Again, it serves as a stand. So you can put it here and do your usual iPad work. Let me know in the comments which keyboard is your favorite in this video. Thank you for watching today's video. Hope you enjoy my keyboard collection. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell button to notify you in my future videos. See you in my next one. Bye! The design looks like... Hey! 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 Two, three, four... One, two, three, four... Five. Oh.